Hi guys and welcome to Abu Dhabi. Now I am here on board MSC World Europa which is the newest cruise ship from MSC Cruises. Now unfortunately I can't show you much of Abu Dhabi from the ship due to the fact that yeah we seem to have arrived to quite a foggy situation where I can see MSC Opera in front of us and I can see the immediate port but I can't actually see any of the city at all which feels very weird. Um, if you're new to my channel, then hello, um, I'm Fraser and I'm going to be spending the rest of this year, so 2023, travelling the world on cruise ships as a passenger, which is very, very exciting. Now, my plan for today, now being in Abu Dhabi, there is the largest mosque in the country here, and that's the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, so I am very excited to get up there. It's meant to be absolutely incredible. If you aren't sure what one that is, it's the it's very famous, it's the big white one. There's loads of domes on it. Apparently I read this morning it's got 82 different domes on it. So yeah, I actually can't wait to get there and see what it looks like. Now, if you are planning a trip to here, then it's definitely worth remembering that for that mosque in particular, you do have to book a ticket to get into it. Now, it's absolutely free of charge and it's not, um, it's absolutely not an issue if you're a tourist. In fact, you can select when you, um, pick what type of ticket you want, whether you're like visiting for religious purposes or whether you are a tourist, so that's absolutely fine. There are just a couple of things that I would say you need to be really, really mindful of though, if you are planning to cruise to this part of the world. The first one is basically reflecting on what I'm wearing at the moment. You need to be really mindful of dress here due to the fact that having like skin exposed is considered to be largely um, quite disrespectful, especially in a religious setting. So for that reason, it means that both guys and girls have got to really cover up. So from my perspective, being a guy, I have got like a long sleeve top on. I've then got, I don't think I can um, tilt the camera down, but I'll put a little overlay on to show you what I'm wearing. I've got these shorts on that you can basically like zip the legs on, <laughs> on or off to turn them into trousers. So definitely not the most fashionable choice of outfit today, however, if it's considered respectful and it can get me in places, then yeah, absolutely willing to do it. I've also put a change of top in my bag for later, just so that if I have time to go to the city, I can get changed and be a little bit more comfortable. Um, the other thing that you definitely should be mindful of if you are traveling at this time, is that during the season of Ramadan, which um, runs for a, a good number of weeks anyway, sit down here, um, you need to just be mindful of the fact that some places won't allow you to eat or drink in public. So in Dubai last year, um, apparently it was illegal to walk down the street drinking a coffee, but the law has now changed. So what I did yesterday, that was totally okay. But last year that would have probably landed me with a fine. So I think it's a little bit stricter as we head over to Saudi Arabia. So yeah, definitely one to be mindful of because I had thought of all the, the famous laws of like public affection and drinking in public, all that sort of thing. But I hadn't actually considered at all the, the laws that might come into force around Ramadan season, so definitely worth thinking about. Now, anyway, enough for me. I am gonna go and get off of this ship after I stop via the buffet to load up on food to keep me going. And yeah, um, we'll speak to you just when we get, get off. <laughs> Okay, breakfast done and I am now heading down to get off of the ship. Now, one thing that I did want to mention to you is MSC have got this brilliant feature on their ships. It's ba I think they call it a smart elevator, where basically you go up to the screen, push a button, and then it will tell you which elevator to go to. What it does is it gets rid of that age-old problem on cruises where you get on at deck 18, it then stops at 17, 16, 15, 14, all the way down to where you're trying to go. One thing that's new on here that I haven't seen before on Virtuosa is that when you go to the lifts that have got the gangway assigned to them, it'll actually say at the bottom of the screen which one to go to if you are looking for the gangway. So really good, really efficient, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll um, put, it to, put it to the test and see if it works to get us off. <laughs>
okay, off the ship, and that was easier than ever. One thing that I absolutely love about this is that they have like a DJ outside the ship, and yeah, it's playing like all day as you come on and off. It's such, a, it's such a good idea. Um, anyway, I am gonna take an Uber up to the mosque. Apparently, it should be <clears throat> about half an hour away, or about 70 dirhams. So you divide that number by 4.5, and that will give you the pound value. Yeah, hopefully we won't have the same debacle here with taxes as what we had yesterday, but let's wait and see, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll get through, get in an Uber, and I will speak to all of you guys when we get up to the mosque. Right, so really, really easy disembarkation today. The rate at which they're able to get people off of this class of ship really is remarkable. Like, yes, it's a, um, a, like a docked port, so we're not getting on tender boats or anything to come ashore. But yeah, I think it's because they've got like four or five different gangways on there that it's working just so, so well. Now, anyway, the sun has broken through, which is, or it's trying to break through, which is excellent. I can see a tiny little bit of blue sky just above the camera, so hopefully that gets bigger and bigger throughout the day. Um, annoyingly, there's no Wi-Fi that I can connect to in the terminal to book an Uber to avoid the dilemma of the price that we had yesterday with the taxis. But I've come out, and it turns out that they are literally lined up right here, directly beside the ship waiting to take you so there's plenty of them i'm just going to ask how much it would be uber should be about 70 dirhams so hopefully um it's about the same for a 30 minute journey but hey look enough from me because my ticket for entry to the mosque is in 45 minutes time and it's a 30 minute taxi away so let's jump in the car and we'll speak more when we get up there Right, I'm in. Now, one thing that I would say is that the scale of this place, when you pull in along the motorway, it is just absolutely remarkable and genuinely it feels like something that you would see in a movie or on a postcard. It just doesn't, doesn't feel real. 
Now, anyway, I am really looking forward to getting in for a look round here. The queues were insane getting through, so it took a good bit of time. Granted, it kept moving, but there's just so many people that are trying to get in here today. It won't help that it's Ramadan at the moment, so obviously there's more and more people trying to get into these religious sites. But yeah, first impression is this place looks absolutely amazing. Apparently, this cost two billion dirhams to build, which in our money would probably be, what, about 500 million pounds. And even just looking at it now, it is absolutely stunning. So let's go in, take a quick look around. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to show you in there, because they seem to be really, really strict with the fact that you can only take photos and videos at like designated photo stops, they call them, and they're really clearly marked, and there's people in between telling you to put phones and stuff away. If I can, and if it's legal, then obviously I will, but yeah, I might just have to tell you a little bit about it as we go through. But yeah, um, let's head in and see what the inside of the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque looks like. Would you believe that the columns that you can see on your screen now, there's actually 1,096 of these columns all across the mosque. Now the patterns that you can see on them are really intricate flower designs that are actually made up of semi-precious stones, but you can see all around this courtyard they are everywhere, so there's almost 1,100 of them. Now the next clip that I'm going to leave you with is a walk up towards the Grand Worship Hall while the call to prayer was happening, which is a feeling that I will never, ever forget. So we're now in the main prayer hall and would you believe that the carpet in here is actually one of the largest carpets in the world that took years and years to produce. Now what you can see on that far wall at the moment that we'll go into a little bit closer now is a wall covered in Italian marble. Now all the writing that you can see inside those little flowers is essentially all the qualities that this faith believe that Allah holds, for example, the merciful, for example, the gracious, for example, the patient. Now the picture that you've got in front of you now shows the word Allah written in that circular section and that wall actually faces towards the holy city of Mecca. So yeah, really, really interesting.
Okay, so I have just come out the other side and yeah, I guess to, I mean, I'm, I'm actually really struggling to summarize and put words together right now, but I would say that I thought that this would be really different and it would be a really unique experience to, to anything that I've done before. I've actually never been to a mosque before, so this was <laughs> quite the one to start with. Now, I actually, I, I don't know too much about this faith in all honesty, but what I would say to summarise is that there's something about today that's just felt so special. Um, I think particularly being here at the, the point of Ramadan, you can clearly see how, how much a place like this and a visit to somewhere like this means to so many people that are walking around there. And it's, um, yeah, it's actually been a bit of a pleasure to be a part of it. What, one thing that's been actually really impressive is that absolutely no part of this is a money-making scheme. And if you go to places like, I guess the Vatican is quite similar, but they then charge quite a lot of money to go through the museums. But this place, I mean, I haven't, I genuinely, I haven't spent a penny since getting here. The tickets to go in, yeah, fine, you need a ticket, but you book online and it's free of charge. You get here, there's not a single, well, not yet anyway, there's not a single gift shop in sight. Um, it's, it's just, I don't know, what word would I use? I think it's just really humbling coming somewhere like this. I'm just, yeah, I'm taking away quite a lot from my, what, two hour walk around here. Really, really impressed and um, yeah, don't really know what else to say, but really impressed with this. Now, what I'm going to do now is head back down. It looks as though they had, a, actually weirdly, they had like a shopping center as you approach it here. So I'm gonna take a walk down to there because it's on the way out anyway. Probably grab a quick bite to eat on the way down. I'm, I'm really not sure if you'll be able to buy food here just with it being Ramadan and with us being at a mosque, but let's wait and see. And then after that, I think time-wise, I'll probably just start heading back in the direction of the ship. It's currently three o'clock. We don't depart until about seven o'clock, but uh, I would rather just get back and be on the safe side rather than trying to squeeze in the city of Abu Dhabi at the same time. But hey, let's, let's see where the mood takes us over the next couple of hours. And um, yeah, I'll keep you posted, but we'll head out, here. We'll head out of here now. <laughs> bit of an update I've decided that instead of seeing where the afternoon takes us let's just call it quits now because yeah the clothes that I'm wearing if I continue to walk about like this I'm going to have the weirdest tan lines on the <laughs> on the planet so I am gonna head back to the ship and have hopefully a couple of hours by the pool because I've now been in the Middle East for about a week I think I actually don't know I actually don't know what day it is anymore but I think I've been here for about a week and I haven't lay in the sun once. I haven't even sat out and like had a drink in the sun. So let's head back to the ship, have a bit of, a little bit of Fraser time <laughs> on the top deck of um, World Europa. Ok, 
okay, we're having a bit of a mare at the moment because I've just got out the taxi. I only have card on me and they said they took card when we got in the taxi and now, miraculously, the card machine isn't working. So the ship is right here. So I'm close enough that I reckon I could probably just <laughs> run to safety. But um, yeah, let's see what happens. We've now got um, quite a bit of high vis, <laughs> quite a lot of high bit vis and two flapping taxi drivers trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> Watch this space. Well, would you look at that? After probably about half an hour of back and forth, there we go. Excellent. <laughs> the meter is now working. I'm now getting a thumbs up from said driver, and miraculously, we've now been able to pay. So, definitely one to watch out for because this has happened both yesterday and today. We're just be careful getting into taxes and just make sure that you're paying the right amount on the screen. And to be honest, just make sure they put the meter on when you get in and tell them you're paying with a card. But yeah, for now, let's get back onto this ship, probably grab a beer and sit oh, in the sunshine. Now, one thing that I did want to let you guys know about, which obviously I can't comment on because I didn't go, I just happened to look out the other side of the ship and found this little tourist village. I can't believe I didn't know it was there, but it looks very similar to what you get in some Caribbean ports. So if you are cruising to this part of the world, make sure that you go and check that out. Okay, you can probably tell that quite a few hours have passed since I last spoke to you. I have been the most chilled out that I have been in such a long time so I think exactly what I needed this afternoon was just to chill out on a sun lounger and literally do nothing which would have been ideal. Um, anyway tonight I am now you can probably tell but up on the top deck we should be sailing out of Abu Dhabi. Um, well it was meant to be an hour ago but not sure what happened but it's been delayed by an hour and at the moment I think it's about 10 past 7 now and there's no, no immediate sign of leaving, so hopefully over the next kind of 15-20 minutes we should um, be on our way out of here. Now, dock tomorrow is um, Surbanias, which is an island, I think it's an island, relatively close to here, so to be honest it should be pretty smooth sailing tonight because we don't have a huge amount of distance to cover. Then we've got our first CD, which I am really looking forward to because I genuinely feel like I haven't really sat down once since getting out here. Um, plan for tonight, let me just climb these stairs really quickly. Oh, cannot talk at the same time. Plan for tonight. Now, I have had to switch to that later dining slot now. My initial slot was due at six o'clock, which is just far too early for um, I guess like the way that I prefer to holiday, I would much rather be out here all day until the sun goes down and then head in to eat. They've been amazing, they've switched me to, I think it's 8 o'clock, I definitely should know what time they switched me to but I think it's 8 o'clock, which means that we can sail out of here and then I'll head down and get fed. Now after that I will be hitting up hopefully again two of the shows, there's a repeat of that immersive show tonight. And to be honest, it was so good that I'll go and see the same thing again. I really, really enjoyed it. And then after that, it'll be into the main theatre for that show. So I'll catch up with you after we've eaten dinner.
okay, so I've actually came and sat down just in a little ice cream shop now because, and before anyone asks, no, I haven't ordered ice cream because as you know, I haven't even had dinner yet. Now, we were meant to leave here at six o'clock tonight. They did an announcement earlier to say, look, we're delayed a little bit. It'll be an hour, so we'll leave at seven. It's now, what, 20 to eight? And we haven't actually cast off yet, so we're still very firmly attached to the, the dock. So, yeah, I, it doesn't look as though we're in any great rush. There's no feeling that, you know, we're, we're running behind. They did come on and say earlier, look, our arrival time tomorrow will still be absolutely on track. Now, from what I can see, Sabanias is literally right beside Abu Dhabi. So, yeah, I think if we're another 15, 20 minutes later leaving tonight, it's really not going to cause much of an issue because I think tonight we're literally going to go from here out to here to bob about for a bit and then tomorrow morning just come straight back in. So yeah, I don't think it was going to be a significant issue. It would be good to show you guys leaving Abu Dhabi though. It looks like it's going to be quite a nice sail away. MSC Opera, which is one of the much older and much smaller ships, um, was with us in Dubai last night and has actually followed us down to Abu Dhabi today. So it's sitting just directly in front. And the two ships had a bit of a horn battle last night, which was always fun. So I think they'll probably do the same tonight, if and when we actually depart. So yeah, I reckon they'll probably update us shortly. But I've probably got about another 10-ish minutes that I can give it. If it doesn't happen by that point, then I am going to have to go for dinner. Because as I mentioned earlier, I went back and checked, by the way. My table has moved to 8pm rather than 6pm. So yeah, they've been good enough to move me and good enough to um, accommodate the new time. The least that I can do is at least turn up, <laughs> turn up for it. So yeah, let's hold off, see if we can see a departure. And failing that, I will take you guys down to the dining room. Uh, your attention please. We are completing immigration formalities and will sail as soon as possible. Our arrival time in Sevanias will not be affected. We apologize for any inconvenience and wish you a nice evening. Okay, so I guess that announcement is probably all that we needed to hear, at least we now have clarity over what's happening. So it sounds, to be honest, as if we're nowhere near ready to leave. So I might even be able to get in for dinner and back out before we even sailed out. So my plan now is to head down to the main dining room and have dinner um, down here. And then, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys after on A, how that is, and also B, how the show goes afterwards. So I will speak to you in a bit. Okay, so update following dinner. Food in there was excellent, really, really good, which is great because I was definitely a little bit worried. Let's see if we can go out here, we should be able to. Oh, a little bit windy, but perfect. Um, yeah, so dinner tonight was again excellent, really, really good, which is dead positive actually because I was a little bit nervous after saying last night to you guys how good the food was that that would have been a total one-off and it would have been like a first night win that then I would end up regretting having that conversation with you but yeah equally as good tonight now slight issue that we've got now is that I actually just didn't realize that you have to book all of the shows on here now that even applies to the shows that are free so yeah, on, there actually aren't any paid shows on here the way they are on like Virtuosa, for example. So all the free ones you have to book in for and reserve a seat, which is, um, oh, I get why they're doing it. It's just really annoying. So I went up there, haven't booked a seat. And the guy said, oh, sorry, there's actually not a single seat left in here, which, you know, not definitely not the best situation. But again, like, I get it. I get why they've done it. 
Um, anyway, that kind of leaves me in a position where I don't really have that much on now until 11 o'clock. So I'm probably just going to go set up camp somewhere, grab a glass of wine and chill out for a bit. And that probably means that I will leave all of you guys here. So look, um, as always, thank you so much for watching my channel. I really hope that you've enjoyed today and you're enjoying this series so far. Tomorrow we are docking in Sarbanias, which is pretty close to Abu Dhabi. It's like an island. It's been dubbed as like an island paradise and an island resort. So really looking forward to seeing what that looks like. Um, so yeah, hit subscribe. And in the next episode, I'll be showing you Sarbanias. But for now, thank you so much. I'm going to head in and grab a wine and I will speak to all of you tomorrow. Great. Good night, guys. Bye.